guys what up welcome back to my youtube channel and today's tutorial is how to make this cool origami or folding transitions that you would see in band K video with vegas effect software so let's get started the first thing that we're gonna do is i'm gonna make a comp uh, in vegas effects and i'll make a full hd comp and then i just simply drag and drop my video in the timeline so since i'm working with 4k video i have to resize this clip to fit the 1080p comp so i just decrease the size to 50 percent and i'm gonna do the same thing for the next video clip as i import it into the timeline so i just change the scale into 50 percent so the next thing that I'm gonna do is to rename the media in the timeline so that I won't get confused when I'm doing the edits along the way. And then I'm gonna make a calm on this video here because this is the video that I want the effects to take place. So just make a comp uh, for this particular video here and then find a spot or a frame that you wanna basically uh, freeze it. So to make this effect, you basically have to freeze frame uh, the one uh, one of the part of the video, which is the end point of the video. So I already do my cuts, and I know this is the end point of the video, and I just find the effects called speed and drag and drop it into this uh, layer here, and change the value of the speed to zero and extend it out. So I know this is the freeze frame. Uh, media here and this is the end point of the of the video clip here so the effects will take place uh, with this uh, freeze frame video here so we're gonna do our edits on this particular freeze frame media before I continue with the editing tutorial you want to basically identify your footage foreground make ground and background and once you identify it, you want to basically separate each of them so that you can animate each uh, elements of the foreground, mid-ground and background. Once you identify it, you can start doing the masking. And in this case, I want to basically mask out the two person here as they are the foreground of the images. And then I'm going to quickly rename the media and I'm going to duplicate this uh, media here and rename it to the cabinet behind it which is the mid-ground delete the mask and repeat the same process for the masking which is in this time I'm going to mask out the cabinet instead and this will be my mid-ground and I'm going to continue doing the same process again duplicate the media rename it delete the mask and I'm going to start masking out the walls so that the wall will be my background instead so you will do this few times if you have more elements from the foreground all the way till the background once you're done doing the masking I'm gonna add a camera into the layer and I'll convert all of this still frames into 3d layer and you want to basically readjust everything so that the foreground is always on the top and the background is always on the bottom and then what you want to do is to move the anchor point all the way till the bottom of the media and move the entire uh, images uh, to the bottom of the uh, comp so that the anchor point is basically moving down and you want to do this to entire uh, other still frames here in the timeline so to make your life easier just copy and paste the transform attribute so you won't have to do it uh, multiple times now once you've done that you can start adding uh, keyframes for each freeze frame and we are basically animating the keyframe of for the x-axis so that it'll just flip and reveal into the frame so you want to basically uh, make sure that the end point of the keyframes is beyond zero which is 120 degree something like that and the second keyframe will be zero which is it revealing to its current positions and you can basically uh, make both keyframes uh, animation to be smoother and you will repeat the same process to the other um, uh, media here and of course you want to offset it a bit so that the foreground come in first and then later the mid-ground come in a bit later and then the last one to reveal is the background so that's a slightly delay between uh, foreground mid ground and background so that you can see the animation start uh, coming in place all right so you will do this uh, same process to the entire 
uh, media uh, freeze frame here right so once you've done everything you can go ahead play a bit uh, scrub through the timeline to see how the animation takes place you can see the transition start to happening here and to make things look much more nicer you can enable the motion blur uh, by toggling this motion blur icon here and then let's go back to the main com and see you can see now the folding transitions already take place on our second video here and just shift it around to, you know to basically where you want the effects to take place reveal the second clip and to make things much more nicer you can add a shake effects onto your calm media here which is the transition here so that um, you can sell off the effects even more so that when the effects taking place there's there a bit of shakes and then animate the keyframes of the shakes and make it to zero percent right so this is how you make things much more uh, better looking in, in my opinion so yeah so that's how you do the folding or uh, origami transitions with Vegas effect so if you have any question related you can leave down in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you guys out and see you guys next time bye bye